Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I appreciate everyone that has joined me on live stream and live chat and everyone watching this on YouTube after. Also, thank you for the ones that have recently subscribed and liked all my videos and I've been reading all the comments and I have been adapting um, based on what you guys say. So continue doing all that stuff and we'll continue on. All right, guys, let's continue. Let's uh, get these potions table and station in here. Um, no, we had to assign. Conjuring spell. We'll quickly put it on here for now. We got potions, herbology, utility. Potions. Small, small. Scientific, Botanical, Eclectic, and Gothic. Uh, which one did we need? Potion Station. L1, R1 to rotate. And we need a potting table. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I'm just looking at other things, but we don't have them. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the Room of Requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another Transfiguration spell for use in the room. Yes. All right, so we're able to do all that stuff now. Uh, 
Come you know. and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I was gonna say, I have a I lot like of moves, though. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Yes, I have a whole bunch, so. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Rugs, furniture, decorations, artwork, seating, tables. Those are all rugs. Portraits, seating, tables, okay, where's the Conjure wall decorations and floor decorations. Oh. That's it. Let's do some rugs. That's one. I haven't seen this many plants here before. Oh, come on. All right, that's five. I just need wall decorations now.
mistake things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. No, one more. All right, let's move on. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand. An item and perform the altering spell to customize it. They cannot believe how many things. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Dick cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brewed.
Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Sorry guys, I'm going overboard with this. Alright, let's continue. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Dark and mysterious. Mm, I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. like more space. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. All right, so we finished that. That was the more space area. Let's continue with the main stuff. Because here we need to use Venomous Tangula. Go to Professor Fig. Deke 
cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Okay. Revelia. Freaking black head. All right, let's get to Professor P. Move you. He's a long ways. Maybe I should have done a... What's it called? The Foofling. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes, I thought it was odd too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. And that's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. It went straight there. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. We're here, sir. To think it was beneath us all this time. That's why it's called the map room. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. I talked about his wife. 
Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? I do. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? Yes. I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I believe I have. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. What do you know about the tower? You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. See you there? I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Yes, chat, I am definitely enjoying the story on this. All right, you got to meet him at the tower. Check out our map. Yeah, um, looking after quests, I might do these. On my own. And continue doing these with you on a video.
Alright, check our map. World map. Going way up here. You know what? We'll fast travel here and then go on our broom. Since we finally have a broom. It's time you learned Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. All right, so how do we actually Rebellion. fly? It's Imperial. So it's not all in here. I don't get it. What do you want to look in a flat? Bring it! Something. Rookwoods don't go down easy. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Okay, I see it. Circle. Thank you, chat. Oh yeah, this is way better. They say it uses stamina if I'm high. I don't see it using much stamina. I see it when I use L2. But we need to get down. Oh, there's some bad guys here. Oh, hoofy. Circle. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented glue powder. Roll wait. Alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. Quickly now. I wanna fight them. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Well done. Uh, 
There must be something here. Ramrock said so. What was that? I feel as though I'm not alone. Is somebody there? Hello? He's alert. I've never seen a sword like it. Uh, there must be something here. Alright, we'll try to get as many as possible. I know we won't get all of them. See, not all of them drop stuff, though. <sighs> Nothing good. Ah, oh, they split up. Wonder if I could get one, then the other. Oh, crap. Afraid to fight, not quiet enough. Yes. Uh, this eye. What the hell? Let's get this over with. There you are. Why don't you come up? Rubber and wise coming back this way. I won't rest until you. I'd rather have plot anyway. Okay, what am I looking for? To the tower, right? Revenia. Nah, there's some chests and stuff. Okay, we'll go on the near now. It says investigate still. Investigating. So orange right here. I have no clue. And Professor Fig ain't saying nothing. Another chest. It's a chair. Anything in the tent? Oh yeah, there it is. Waters directly from Ranrock. Oh, 
I use the protection stuff. That's the crazy part. I'm holding down triangle. I will draw blood. You won't last long. Not quite. Let's get this over with. Rubber and white coming. Why? Circle. Is that the best you can do? Oh. 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 This is my fighting one, so I should be using you also. Ranrock has fooled you all. Many goblins have always been antagonistic towards wizard kind, but this is different somehow. I definitely use uh, let's head inside. That more. Looks like we found the entrance. We've been found the entrance. It's locked. Can you teach me? An unlocking charm. Very handy. No then... time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. There's one here. I wonder who this is. With ropes like that, it could be anyone. Going up. It did something. Didn't it? Rebellion. Welcome to Sambakar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say Sambakar's Tower? I did. Professor Bakar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir I'm of ancient dead. magic. Downstairs, near the entry. See, I need that locking skill. Revelio.
Don't jump down. What was that? I need to go back up. Sorry, guys. Freaking key thing. I should investigate. Duh. Revelio, 